Hello, it's day 290, and I want to talk about your place at the gym. I'll be real with you, this time of year is kind of frustrating to go to the gym, because all of the new people from the New Year's resolutions don't really know where they want to be yet. And while it's really exciting to see all those new people starting their health and fitness journey and being really hyped about it, it is kind of strange when you're used to how it was months ago when you went at a certain time of day and you knew who was going to be there. You knew the guy with the long beard was going to be at the Smith machine. You knew the old lady swim team was going to be in the pool. Like everybody kind of knew where everybody else was going to be at every time. So it was almost like a machine. Like we'd all work together to kind of get where we needed to go. But now with all of these new people in the gym, now the guy with the long beard is waiting for the Smith machine while it's being explained to somebody new. And the old lady swim team is having to work around uh, the people who are trying to get in the lap lanes. Like everybody is a little bit, like the dance is new. We're all trying to learn the new steps around each other. And I figured this was a good time of year to change up my routine too. I will admit that my place at the gym is in the rec center on the treadmill farthest away from the door, like in the corner, in the dark little corner where nobody can see me. That's where I like to run and walk. That's where I spend most of my time. But I've decided I'm gonna start strength training too. And the rec center does have like a little dumbbell set and some medicine balls and things like that, like an incline ab trainer, which I've been using. I've kind of been jacking around with that equipment, but I kind of want to use the Smith machine. I kind of want to be in the squat rack, you know? And that's scary because the weight room is full of dudes. I'll just come right out and say it. And while I've never had a bad experience in the weight room, every time I walk in there, it's scary. It's scary because it doesn't feel like my place. And I don't know if that's because I'm a woman or if that's because, I don't know, strength training has never been my forte. I like to run, I like to swim sometimes. But for anybody out there who is thinking about starting like a health and fitness journey, I would recommend going to the gym at this time of year because everybody is all screwed up. Everybody's routine is in upheaval while all these New Year's resolution people try it out. And if you come in and try it out now, chances are you'll be able to carve out your space while everybody else is too. And when there is that inevitable die off of New Year's resolution people in about, three to six weeks. In three to six weeks, things will start getting back to normal. When that happens, you will now be a regular. You'll be a regular, you'll have your spot, you'll know where you're gonna be and everybody else will too. That's the way to do it. And if you are a New Year's resolution person at the gym, good job, keep going. Like something like, what is it? Like 30% of people actually continue to go to the gym after their New Year's resolution. So maybe that'll be you. It's kind of strange to think, but this coming July, I will have been going to the gym five to six days a week regularly for two years, which is, I'm, I'm happy with that number. And I don't really see myself slowing down anytime soon, but I have begun the invasion of the weight room. So I guess I'll update you on that in the coming weeks.